Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 46 of Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to apply graphical effects and special effects uh, to our pictures. So to do that simply go to format right here and the easiest way to apply it uh, is to go over here. You can see that there are a lot of borders and shading option right here. With our presets you can expand this and you can see that you have a cool looking 3D effect and a slanted version of a picture size and so forth. But, I, um, but what, what I want to do is I want to manually change this. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into the picture effects right here. And you can see there are a lot of effects you can choose from. By default, we have the presets. So we have this 3D looking as and so forth. We have the 3D option and so forth. But what I want to do is I want to individually apply the effects to onto it. So I can go to shadows. You can see that I can select the type of shadows I want. And I, and I can add an inner shadows right here or an external shadow just like this according to what I wish. I can also have a 3D looking shadow just like this. So over here, that's how I apply the shadows. I can also apply reflection over here so you can see that there's some reflection types right here as if this is uh, hovering around. So I can go over here and go to the glow setting as well. So if I want a glow around the picture just like that, I can actually select the picture glow uh, effect just like that. So I'm gonna select, uh, let's say, this kind of a glow style. I can also go to picture effect right here and I got soft edges so if I want a soft looking edges right here so I can actually select the uh, as softness over here uh, to the end. So I can also go to the bevel section and I can choose the type of bevel I want to apply on the pictures I have. So let's say if I want this kind of a bevel you can see that that has been applied. And uh, I can go to 3D rotation so I can have different sort of rotation as you can see and I can apply this to give it a 3D look. So I can uh, have it slanted or a bit tilted onto the side and so forth. And you can see that the effects actually get applied just like this. But this is um, uh, not very um, uh, custom. So let's go to format. These are again presets of uh, the, preset, the presets of the effects itself. So if I want more option, I can either go to one of them and you can go to option right here. So in reflection, you can see reflection option and shadow, you can see shadow option. So simply click on that. No worries, just click on that and you can see that you can see format picture right here. So now uh, what you can actually do over here is uh, you are on format picture. There's a fill in line and other option right here, which we're going to uh, look at in other lessons right here. So on the effects section, you can see that the preset is applied over here. So you can select the preset of your choice and it actually gets applied over here. So uh, I don't want to do anything. I just want to reset this out. So I'm going to press Control Z. Uh, so it's actually back to normal. And now I'm going to use these settings right here. So I can select the preset as you can see. So I can select the preset shadow option right here to apply the shadow. And over here, I can select the color of the shadow as well, as you can see. So I can actually in increase and decrease the transparency of the shadow, as you can see here. And you can also input the value right here to 70%. So that's 70% transparency. I can increase the size of the shadow right here. So you can see that I can increase the size right here. I, I can increase the blurriness of the shadows right here as well, just like this. Uh, increase this out here. And then I can also change the angle of the shadow right here. So let me just select different color right here. Uh, let me select the preset because that is not seen. All right, so I can increase the angle right here, change the angle of the shadow, change the distance of the shadow as well. Just like we do in Photoshop and other graphic designing softwares. So you can see that you can actually do basic designs uh, just with Microsoft Word itself as well. So over here we have the reflection option. So over here, I'm just gonna choose the preset right here. Uh, is this one right there and then I have the reflection option so over here I can also select 3d shadows right here and you can see that I can change the angle of the shadow over here as well so let me just change the angle of the shadow the distance of the shadow just like that as well uh, over here so over here you can see that that's the shadow and there's the reflection right here so I can select the reflection and then I can change the transparency of the reflection right here. I can increase the size of the reflection right here. I, I can increase the blurriness of the reflection as well. So you can see that the reflection actually blurs out once I do that and I can uh, increase the distance of the reflection as well. So that's what the shadow does. I'm just gonna have no shadows over here and no reflection over here. You can apply multiple effects, but just to uh, show you, I'm gonna disable all. And over here you have the glow option, so you can select the color of the glow right here. You can increase the size of the glow and you can decrease and increase the transparency of the glow as well. So right now you can see that the transparency of the glow is actually there. So I'm gonna disable this as well, so no glow. 
the soft edges so you can increase the size of the soft edges right here and once I do that you can see that the edges actually become soft just like this so you can see that this is how the edge becomes soft and you can also select the preset to apply the softness of the image so I'm just gonna say no soft edges go to 3d formatting right here and right now you can see that I have bubbles and so forth so I can increase the width of the bubble so you can see that I can increase this out and it, I can increase the height of the bubble as well to make it seem more good and the bottom bevel, I can increase and decrease this as well. So you can see that the changes actually suddenly happen just like that. So you can select the bottom bevel. So I'm going to say no bevel to this. I'm going to say bottom bevel right there. And I need to actually rotate this to actually see this. So over here, I want to increase the depth color as well. So maybe I want to increase the depth uh, size and the color. So you can see that I actually add in depth at the end. I can select the color of the depth as well. So for the material, I can have shiny materials or like a normal material right over here. So over here, you can see that this is the 3D format. I'm going to add in this. So you cannot actually see much, but I'm going to increase this out and I'm going to increase this as well. So once I go into the 3D rotation part, I can actually select the preset right here and you can see the bevel is actually at the backwards. So now when the, the, uh, I'm going to see this. Uh, I'm going to select this one out right there and you can see that I can actually rotate this around uh, just like that. So at the bottom level, I, I can actually change it and you can see that the change actually is seem, uh, seems there just like that. So you can change the Y rotation so you can actually rotate this in a 3D like axis as you can see. This would have been cool if you could animate this as, actually. So you can also have a Z axis right here. You can also click the buttons right here to actually rotate this around or you can actually type in the angle right here. Let's say for example, if I want 45 degrees, I can simply press 45 degrees right here. So I can reset this as well. And finally, we got the artist uh, effects. So if I want to add in effects like these and so forth, I can actually do that as well. So you can see that I have a pixelated uh, artistic uh, effects right there. So that is how you can apply effects, um, graphical effects and special effects inside of Microsoft Word for pictures. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.